This movie will talk you through how to create your own Digital Tools OneNote notebook from scratch. So the software that we're using is called OneNote. It's a digital notebook and it allows you to keep all notes of information in one location. You can insert pictures, text, anything into it. And the first step is learning how to launch the program. So what you're going to do is click Windows Start, Programs, Microsoft Office OneNote. Can you just see it down here? Start, All Programs, and then you're going to scroll through and look for under Microsoft Office and you want Microsoft OneNote 2010 and you'll click on that. And up will pop something like this. OneNote has a ribbon and it's very like Word. It's, there are tabs, groups, commands. There's the Home tab. You can copy, cut and paste. If you know Word, you can work your way through this digital notebook. And you, I'll leave you to read this uh, PowerPoint presentation in your own time. Okay, now f importantly, understanding how to save and organize files in our virtual environment. Saving files at school is not as straightforward as at home. You're working on virtual desktops. Make that bold. Here are the steps that to get your work safely into your network folder. So you're going to File, Save As, and then you're going to click the computer icon, and then you're going to save into your U drive. So back I go to OneNote. I'm going to go File, I'm going to click on New. In fact, can you see it here? There you are. File, New, and you click on My Computer. We don't want to sync it yet. And the name of it is going to be whatever your name is. And please don't type your name. <laughs> and then I'm going to put an underscore Digital Tools. So the other one that we've been working on, that's not going to work any longer. Your location is going to be your U drive. Click on Browse. And then make sure that you scroll down to, I'll make it bigger if I can for you. You're looking for your U drive. And mine starts with my name, but yours is going to start with your permanent ID, which is starts with a, um, a 5. So you're going to click on that. And then you're going to select. That's all you do, nothing else. Go to your U drive and then click Select. It knows the location and you click Create Notebook. And it's created the notebook. I'm not going to email anybody about it. And this was the, the slide that tells you how to do File, New, My Computer, type your name, make sure that you browse to your U drive. So we're going to learn how to create um, let me scroll up a bit. New sections, section groups, sections and pages. OneNote has section groups, it has sections, and then it has individual pages. Our first section group will be Word, Microsoft Word. So we're going to add that by right-clicking on the grey area and clicking on New Section Group, and then we're going to call it Word. So I whiz back, I'm going to right click on the grey area, new section group, not new section, new section group, and this is going to be called Word. Okay. This Word section group will contain several Word assignments, and each Word assignment will have its own section. So the title of the assignment is going to be the section. Each activity in the assignment section will have its own separate page. So we're going to go ahead and create a new section 
and call it Stranded Journal. So you're going to click on the Word section group to open it, make sure you're inside it. Click the Start tab to create a new section and we'll call this Stranded Journal. Back I go. I make sure that I'm inside Word. I open up Word. I click the Start tab and this is going to be Stranded Journal. Done. Next we're going to format our first section which is the Stranded Journal tab and then we're going to decide you use templates to color it plain background but for now we're going to choose a new page we'll choose page templates and then we're going to have planners decorative planners projects to-do list and we'll change the title to software assignment back I go wrong one so I go down here see new page over at the right you see the little arrow pull down you go all the way down to page templates we're going to click on planners and we want project to-do list click in here and then we're going to, to call this software assignment and that's going to be stranded journal I'm going to delete this page there yeah, I don't need that now we've got a few extra bits and pieces that we don't need I'm going to get rid of them so far so good so you should see this we've deleted out the spare boxes and now you're going to replace the check checkbox text box with the text on the right so you should see this and I'm going to zoom in so you can make it nice and big software assignment learning log quick write digital tools bite size quizlet and quiz game. So all I do is backspace out some of them ICT movie and you, you replace it with the text that's necessary and then when you've finished it should look like this. You can make these bigger if you want go to the home page whatever you want but that's the agenda that's what you need to do these are all of the activities and each of these activities are eventually going to have their own separate pages. So the stranded journal assignment will have several separate activities and here you can pause the movie if you haven't already done so go ahead and create the following pages in the stranded journal section. So learning so software assignment learning log ICT Movie Quick Write, Digital Tools, Bite Size Quizlet, Quiz Game, and with any luck you should see Inside Word, Stranded Journal, and then you have the pages over at the right hand side. So it looks like this, and I'll do this in just a second. So all you would do is click and then type in here. And as you type the page title becomes visible over on the right. And then when you finish you should see this. There we are, back up to software assignment. Okay. OneNote components. Number one over here, these are where the notebooks are kept. Number two are sections. Section tabs are, are up there too. There are expandable arrows that you can um, expand or hide the toolbar as you wish. You can type directly on the page. Once you do this, a box will surround your text or image entry. For instance, I just click in here, start typing. See, there's the box. And equally, you can insert pictures, and they just, you don't have to wrap them or anything, they just sit right in there. And you can delete them easily. You can also attach file or insert file printouts from the Insert tab. And what we're going to be doing is inserting file printouts of our documents when we finish them. I'll give you an example. I would go up to insert and I click on file printout and then I'm going to look for a document that I've done. For instance my e-safety which we couldn't print
previously insert, now we will be able to. In it goes, it's inserting a printout, and there it is. Perfect! There's the whole document. And that's what we've been uh, trying our hardest to do. This is how we do it. If you set up the correct location in the first task, as I hope you have done, you don't have to save your OneNote binder. It will automatically update. So before you close, click on My Computer and find a OneNote folder. If it's not there, it's going to be, it's not in the Digital Tools. If it's not in Digital Tools, it would be in your OneNote folder. And this is how you can fix it. So we've got some vocabulary that we'll, we'll talk about. And at the end of, this is the end of the assignment. You need to show your work to me. And I want to, under, I want to see what I'm going to be looking for is basically 